Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, Makeup Artist. So I'm doing the anticipated Rosie Huntington look from the Oscars of 2014. She went to the Vanity Fair party and I've gotten so many requests on my Instagram. So many people have asked me what I've used on Rosie. And here I am, I'm going to recreate the look today. Now on Rosie that day, I used all Laura Mercier products. Today, however, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and use a few different products just to give you a variety and uh, I have a beautiful model her name is Caitlin you know Caitlin because I've used her before in my other video for Golden Globes with Taylor Schilling and I think she's the perfect model for this look today now the look I did on Rosie the other day was just very feminine. I wanted her to look very effortless but very chic. And so the eye makeup was smoky but in a very soft and elegant way. Now I'm gonna show you in this video step by step how I created this look. Now don't forget to like my video, to also subscribe to my channel and I can't wait to see you next time. Hi, mm. Caitlin. Hi. I'm so <laughs> excited. I have you again for today's video. We're going to do the anticipated Rosie Huntington look from the Oscars. And I'm so excited that you can be my model today. And I'm going to get right into the makeup. I used this product by Laura Mercier. It's a, actually a foundation. It hasn't launched yet. It's coming out in July. And it's called the Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. It's a oil-free foundation. So it's very important that you shake this product really well before you use it. And I'm applying it with the F60 brush by Sigma. It's a foundation brush. And I'm dipping my foundation into the brush. And I'm starting with you right around your chin area. And also I put a little bit of a Laura Mercier primer on before I started with your foundation. Okay, so we just put the foundation on. It's gorgeous on you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I pinpoint. There's a little bit of a tiny breakout down here. So what I love to use is this Laura Mercier product. It's called the Secret Camouflage. So what Miss Laura Mercier does is she takes the brush, the Secret Camouflage brush, and you sweep it downwards and then you go upwards on the other side. You have a more yellow base color and a peachy color and then you mix it together on your hand and then we put it directly on the spot I want to have concealed and I pat it on the spot and I take my hand and then I just push it I push the product around the area I want to have concealed so what that does it just makes it look more natural I'm gonna put a little bit of this concealer on your under eye area. And I'm using this NARS product and it's the color Custard. And I just put a tiny bit underneath your eyes in little dots. And then I take this brush by Sigma. It's the P82 brush. And I buff this product into your skin in round circular motions. So it looks really natural. Open up. For your eyebrows today, I chose this product by Tom Ford, and this is a color called Taupe. I am obsessed with this product. I love the way how this pencil is shaped right here, and you can really draw in little hairs by little strokes. So what I'm doing is I basically just draw little tiny little hairs into your brows in fine little strokes. And then I take a brush and I just brush them up. And I'm going to use a eyeshadow primer and this one is by Urban Decay. It really makes it last much longer. It's great to just make it more matte looking. This is the first color I've used. It's by Laura Mercier. It's Baroque and I'm using it on a MAC 252 brush and I'm using it all over your lid. This is just a really beautiful copper brown color. And then the next product we used is this really matte Laura Mercier eyeshadow and the color is Café Au Lait. And this is the color. And I'm using it on a MAC 224 brush and I'm using this color in the crease. So we're basically just building a little bit more definition in your eye. And what I'm doing is I'm starting out here and I'm going all the way inside of your eye in the crease and I go backwards and forwards. 
And the next product I've used is this Laura Mercier eyeshadow. It's from the Baked collection and it's called Ballet Pink. It looks like that. And I just used that on a fluffy brush like this by MAC 217. And I used it just kind of like in the center, in the middle of the eye, just to give it a little bit more shimmer. It's like right in here. All right, so the next step to this eye makeup is I use this Elizabeth Arden pencil, and this is a beautiful gray color. I really like using gray versus black because it's just a more softer approach to the eye makeup. So what I've done with this product, I just went really closely to your lash line and try to go as close as you can. I didn't really do anything right here at the end yet. I will show you later what I'm doing. I'm stopping right here and I'm bringing it inwards. I'm gonna do the inner corner. I'm gonna just go as close as possible. Perfect. And so the next step to this eye makeup is I use this Caviar Stick by Laura Mercier and the color is Coco and it's a cream eyeshadow and I use this Laura Mercier brush. It's a smudge brush and I go in with my brush like that and then I'm gonna go on top of the liner and then I just blend it from the bottom upwards and it all becomes like one color. Perfect, and then I take another brush, the 217 brush, and then I just blend it. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of this Café Olé color on the bottom lash line on a E30 brush. And I'll just bring it right underneath here. Just a little bit, just to give it a little bit definition. It doesn't have too much color. I wanna keep it very light and natural underneath your eye, not too heavy. The last step to this eye makeup is this Illusion de Ombre by Chanel in number 81. It's this really pretty pearly color. And I'm using this just to give your eye a little bit more sparkle. And I'm using this product just literally in the corners, just bringing it right in here. It's almost like the opposite V of your eye, right in here, just to give it a little bit more highlight. All right, so let's curl your lashes. I'm using my Kevin O'Quan curler. And I'm using a few coats of this Dior Show Iconic Mascara. I love this mascara and I love the brush on it. I'm also going to use a few individual lashes with this look. We'll also put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay, we'll comb them out. And now just to bring this whole eye makeup all together, it's also really important to use this Café Olé product right here. And I use it on a Sigma E45 brush. And it's the same color I contoured earlier. And I'm also going to bring that contour down to connect it with the caviar color from earlier. And this is basically the reversed V again, and just to bring it out a little bit more. So this is basically just going to give you a more elongated eye that way. So before we put your individual lashes on, I'm going to just do one more thing. I'm using my gray pencil from earlier and I'm just going to put this like right in between your lashes on the upper inner water rim just to make your lashes appear even darker. So I'm just going to put on these short black not free double flare lashes. They just give a really flirty beautiful eye. So that's what I'm going to apply right now. All right, so Caitlin, we just put on your individual lashes. They looked so gorgeous. And if I can just show in the camera, these are the ones we've used, the Ardell double flare short black lashes. And let's move on to the next thing. Now I'm just gonna set this makeup a little bit with this translucent powder by Laura Mercier. And I'm just gonna use this powder on a Laura Mercier brush. Just gonna put it right on your nose, right around your chin area, like literally right in here in the T-zone. A little bit underneath your eyes. Perfect. Another really important part of this makeup was the contour of Rosie. To contour your face, I used this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Bronzer in the color 03. And I used a NARS brush. And I'm using this NARS brush. I start around here where the ear is. I go down. And I'm also bringing it a little bit up here in the temple and in the forehead. And then I go in with a bigger, fluffier brush. This one is by Chanel. And then I can really just blend it. And then you can do the same thing right in here. And you can even do it on your nose. If you feel like you want to just shape your nose a little bit, you just go down like that. And then you do the same thing on here. And give it just a more chiseled nose. 
All right, so we just contoured your face and now I'm gonna also use this golden mosaic shimmer block by Laura Mercier and I'm just using the lightest color in here and I'm using it on a Charlotte Tilbury brush, which looks like that and I just go in like that and I put that on top of the cheekbone right in here. I'm also gonna bring that product down the bridge of your nose and then you can even bring that product on your brow bone and you can even put it a little bit on your cubic's bone right in here. Right, Caitlin, mm. so we are almost done. Oh my gosh, your skin is glowing. You have no idea. You look so gorgeous. So there's really only two products left. The first one is um, this product by The Honest Company. This is actually a product you can use on your lips. You can use it on your cuticles, like everywhere where you feel like you are dry. It's such a beautiful product anywhere. All right, so your lips are prepped and the last product a lot of people on my instagram i've never gotten so many questions about what lipstick i've used on rosie and not just for this particular look i get that question for rosie all the time what is her lip color i never just use the same lip color on her all the time i'm definitely always choosing a color which is kind of like this color. I'm always using something which is a pinky beige or a coaly beige, but I feel like that this color, uh, this is called Royal Orchid by Laura Mercier, was just the perfect color and the perfect complement to the eye makeup and it just brought the whole look together. So I really just used it out of the bullet and I used it directly on the lips and I just applied it that way and I used my hands and I patted it in a little bit like that. And this is all I did on the lips. I really did not do anything else. And this is the finished Rosie Huntington look for the Oscars of 2014's for the Vanity Fair party. I hope you guys like it out there. Please give it a try and let me know what you think about this tutorial.